Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Tony's Phone Collection. Today we are going to throw this phone in a bucket of water. And we're going to put it in the freezer for 24 hours. You see it does fully work. All the ports are on it. So it should be fully sealed. Hopefully the battery doesn't go bad because this is actually the battery out of my good one. This one's not bad, but it's just in really rough shape. It does have a crack actually right there and you'll see he's got some damage but that doesn't affect the phone i don't think the uh let me wipe down the screen i don't think the crack is gonna have much to do with the uh with the durability because um there's like a layer of plastic underneath of it as well so let's go to the freezer and get some parts got the container that we're gonna use for this it is one of those walking tab ones. See the phone fits basically perfect in it. Um, it does work like I said. Has three bars as you can see it's 804 September 8th. So we should get it around the same time tomorrow. Now we're almost fully completely full. We'll go about halfway. So like I said, the last time the phone's working, maybe, maybe it'll survive. We did this to the uh, LG, I think it was the uh, VX5500, but this one is actually mint, like it's actually waterproof, so. Let's put it over in the freezer now. There it is. So you guys uh, stay tuned for uh, part two. Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Phone Collection. This is part two of the Casio Ravine 2, I think it is, in the freezer for 24 hours. It's basically about 20 minutes away, but I don't think 20 minutes is going to hurt anything. You see here's some nice ice build up on this. Let's get the hot water running. I think our best bet is we're gonna leave it in here and kind of heat the whole thing up around it. The phone is definitely in there, actually. Let's take this back off. Completely there it is. Nothing really see you see the crack from the eyes, but Definitely in there. Got some hot water now. I right, tip it upside down and do it this way. And we'll just let it melt, I guess, that way. See, look at it, it's coming loose. Right, there we go. And here she is. Ooh, hehe, <laughs> it's so, so cool. Um, I guess there it is. Look at the discoloration on that. Why is it like that? I guess that could be the hard, hard water here, but let's go ahead and uh, finish thawing it out. And there it is. Big chunk of ice froze on it. The ice is really stuck to the actual phone itself too. Like, there we go. Let's see if it opens. Oh, it doesn't even open. Uh, there is no water in the camera. Doesn't look like there's any water in the front display. Um, I 
Definitely condensation in there, though. Seems to have no sign of power at all. I'll melt that block, I guess. Seems completely dead. I'm gonna grab some paper towels real quick. And we will see if there's any water in the battery cover. There's indeed battery and water inside there. Maybe not. Actually, no, I think you just put on the uh, nah, water inside there. Not a lot, though. At all. Look, okay, I didn't turn the water indicator. I bet you the battery, yeah, the battery is completely cold. I bet you the battery is gone after this. Gonna warm it up a little bit. Probably something you probably shouldn't do, but it'll be all right. I'm um, we'll probably go take the phone out of the washer or the one that I have in the rice, and I'll probably put this one. Oh, look at there! Ooh, that front display though. Looks like there is water inside of it, which is kind of weird. These Casio phones are <clears throat> really strong, so I'm not too surprised. There we go. And there it is. <clears throat> Oops, I pressed the uh, activate button. Looks like it's fully working. Push the talk is still on. Let's go to the G's. I mean, I can't believe it still works. Let's go to the thermometer and see how warm it is. Cold it is, I guess. It's still a little cold, but it's not bad. Let me turn that off. There we go. And 55 degrees. And as you can see, the phone is fully functional. Like I said I didn't see any water in there, so. Well, looky there, guys. We have a completely... A complete survivor. Probably gonna go and let it dry out. And then I might just do an extreme drop test on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next video.